representatives has given Julius Berger Construction Company one month to deliver the permanent site of the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies. Femi Kajabiamila expressed disappointment over the failure of the contractor to get the site ready after many years of delay. National Assembly correspondent Chokia Adisa reports. In 2013, the leadership of the National Assembly awarded the contract for a befitting permanent site for the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies as a parliamentary academic and research institution. The project was built to be delivered in two years, but 10 years on, the edifice located on 8.2 hectares of land remains about 90% completed. This visit by the speaker is preparatory to President Muhammadu Buhari's planned commissioning of the edifice. Femi Kwajabi Amila engages representatives of the construction company in a chat. It means nothing to me. The company insists the government reneged on its promise to pay 7.5 billion naira, which will enable it to complete the job. But the speaker accuses the company of frustrating Mr. President's readiness to commission the project before leaving office on the 29th of May. The 30 days is, uh, for me, whatever, the last time I was here two years ago, they said this place was at 95%. So even if they've, they've, they've moved the needle a little bit and it's at 98 now, um, 2% shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be a problem in terms of completion in the next 30, the next 30 days. I'm very disappointed that we're still at this stage and that there's nobody working. The Director General of NEEDS describes the company's reluctance to complete the job as disappointing. This project has been on for years and we got commitment from the contractor Judas Bega that uh, once the liability on the projects as at uh, two years ago is settled, they will come back to sites. As of today, I can tell you that we are now in Judas Bega. Representatives of the company declined to speak on camera but the consultant says the bone of contention between the two parties is funding. The project is um, about 90% through. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a monetary issue between the client and the contractors. The edifice comprises 450 seater capacity lecture halls, as well as offices for staffers of the institute and members of AIDS governing board. The speaker has given a matching order that this project be delivered in less than 30 days ahead of Mr. President's commissioning. But the contractors have said it is a mission impossible. Jokhe Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.